Alright, so how's it going guys and girls? We are back in KSP2 and today we are building a MUN base. Well, at least attempting to, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully you saw a successful intro. So we will be building a MUN base. Alright, so I'm kind of going into this with no no real planning. I'm just going to wing it. Just going to build something and, and launch it. We'll see how it goes. I have a bit of a general vision of what I want to do, but just not really much planning or, you know. What you're seeing here is the first time I've ever built this. I, I don't know if it's going to work. Like I said, you should probably know if there was... If you saw it landing on the moon in the intro, I'll, I'll have to put that in the intro now. So if you saw it landing on the moon in the intro, you'll know this worked. And I guess I wouldn't put a video out if it didn't. All right, I'm getting way off track here. So we are on to the lower stage. I think that looks good. I think I can deal with that. Hopefully those arms are uh, stable enough. And that should possibly do it. Oh yeah, we got stabilizers. Need a few of those. Let's go ahead and we'll bring four. That sounds good. Let's fix up this ladder here so they can make it back up. Even though they We'll definitely be able to on the moon. And I actually remembered to put lights on this craft. I always forget the lights. Well, not this time. Alright, so we are ready to launch this puppy. Oh man, I left them ground gear down. Well, it's a little bit of drag there, I guess. Oh, look at those lights. Those are nice. Finally. If I land on the dark side, which I'm probably going to shoot not to do. Now, this thing is pretty stable. Way more stable than I would have imagined. Those arms don't like look like they're really moving at all. I did not put any struts on them. That's just on its own. And this is pre-update. Um, like the, they just put out a big patch. But this was actually filmed before that. So this is before all the fixes were implemented. Ah, uh, there we go. There's a little wiggle. I knew it had to wiggle a little bit. No way we were going to be just solid. Oh, I'm... This actually worked pretty well. Yeah, I got plenty. Plenty of Delta V for this mission. More than enough. Guess like I always say in my videos though, you need a you need a good buffer in KSP2 just because of how um not good it is. <laughs> but yeah, here we're uh coming into our burn to circularize. Just gonna burn at the apoapsis is the not to disturb it. Bring our periapsis up to about seventy-five thousand here. That that should that looks good. I know it says Minma space up there. I was kind of going back and forth on where I wanted this, but I think I'm gonna do both at one point. And I just kind of want to try this with uh with the you know like little 
slightly more gravity that the Mun has as opposed to Minmus. Too bad, about 900. I, that's about the same that it takes to get to Minmus, but... This is a Mun base. All right. I just time warp around to our maneuver and then start our burn. I'm gonna speed some things up along here as we go just to keep the movement, the video rolling without being too draggy. Right. Fast forward a little. Am I almost to our burn? All right, we got about a minute of burn to go here. Lights on. The light button on the vessel actions over there is very sometimes it worked for me sometimes it didn't i i wasn't really sure what if it was something i did maybe could have been anything but uh i have tried that and i do i do actually try it again and it, it does work i believe and we are at the mun we are just going to do our retrograde burn to circularize And then probably wrap around the planet and try to land on the light side of the moon. That looks good. Maybe a little further now. And that'll work. Go ahead and bring our periapsis in. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, let's come in to about, uh, let's do 20. Yeah, sounds good. Like I said, we have plenty of Delta V for this, so. No issue there. Looks like we're gonna be landing in a decent spot. Try to avoid that crater right there. Oh yeah, those arms are pretty stable. Almost looks like the uh, the base has like arms and it's like flexing. And here you'll see why I should have used the larger ground gear. And nice and easy. You're down nice and slow. Cutting a little closer on Delta V than I thought we would have, but still plenty, as you see. And she's heavy. All right, so I think I'm just going to stiffen the su suspension and see what that does. You got to be careful, like, uh, just slinging those sliders to the right because it'll, it'll push off pretty hard. I don't have a ton of experience with it in KSP2, but in the first one, those would get you. Especially on Minmus, you could, like, flip your craft doing that. You're just going to, uh, use the... Mun as our target and point away from it so we can kind of stabilize here. Aha, they worked. The light button worked. What do you know? All right, well, there it is. There's our Mun base. 
Got a few few Kerbals in there. I think they're ready for a spacewalk. Maybe a group photo. Come on, Tim. Walk out here and let's do a little, do a little group photo here. Maybe about here. Yeah. That'll work. He's tired from his long journey. Even though it wasn't that long of a journey. We came straight here. Oh yeah, dance it out, buddy. Dance it out. There it is. Our moon base. Well, I'll probably launch a rover to this site sometime in the future. But until then, that's all. Uh -huh.